Hello guys, welcome to Filaments Daily. Recently I was browsing Upwork for ideas about Laravel and Filament as well and I saw this job posting. It's a buzzer management system but what got my attention is this highlighted thing at the bottom. I'll actually zoom that in. So user portal, admin portal and super admin portal. And I thought, isn't it the thing that is kind of repeating in general for many SaaS applications, whether it's Laravel or Filament or whatever other technology. And I decided to try to recreate kind of the core boilerplate for those roles, showing you kind of back to basics code that you could use as a boilerplate so the repository will be public. And I decided to do that in two ways. First with general Laravel with Laravel Breeze. And I've shot a video about that on my main channel Laravel Daily. Not sure actually which video will be published first, that one or this one. And this one will be about filament. And let me show you the code. First, let me show you how it works. So for example, you have a typical registration form and when you get inside, I will use form filler Chrome extension, you sign up and you manage the tasks. It's a simple to-do list, for example, application. And you add a new task, that's cool. Again, fake filler, but then you have users, users of your own team. So after registration, you become kind of a team admin of your own team and then you may add new users. Let's use again fake filler Chrome extension, create a new user. And the thing is that people from other teams wouldn't see your tasks. The tasks are seen only within the same team. So if I sign out and sign up again and register with another user, and that would mean their own team, I go to tasks and I see empty list. So this is kind of the core functionality to manage whatever. In this case, it's a simple task list, but the object can be much more complex. So in this video, let's discuss the basic setup, the basic boilerplate with filament. And then in the comments, you can give more ideas where to expand on this simple kind of starter kit. First, the database structure. So there's roles table with seeded roles as user team admin and super admin. And then in the users table, we have role ID and also team ID. Team is also created like this. So each team has its owner. Then as I've shown you, we add role ID and team ID to each user. And finally, in the tasks table, we also assign team and user to each task. Nothing really fancy, to be honest. Then in the model, we have user belonging to a team, but also having their own team, maybe. Not necessarily, not every user will have team, but theirs has one relationship for team admins. And also I've created a separate function to check whether has role, and I will get to that in a minute. Next, registration. In the admin panel provider, we enable registration, but our task is to create the team after the user is registered. And typically you would create your own registration class and override that in here, but I will show you a trick. So registration uses register class under the hood. This is where we get down to vendor of filament. And you can see that after registration, there's a thing event new registered. So we can create a listener to that event. And with the latest Laravel versions, kind of auto guessing, auto completing, auto assigning events to listeners, we don't even need to change anything in the vendor. We just create a listener with PHP artisan make listener like this, create users team. And then we assign the event that we want to handle, that we want to catch. And then we can do whatever here. So event get user, we get the role of team admin, assign the team and the role after we create the team. So this happens in listener without changing anything in admin panel provider of filament or the event of Laravel. So you don't need to create a separate filament registration page just for that. Next, if we go to task list, there is a new task form. So this is not really much interesting. It's a typical task resource. So if we open that up, there is a form with two fields and there is a table, nothing really fancy. But what you don't see here is how to filter the task by current team. And this is another example where we use Laravel feature on top of filament. So we've just seen events and listeners. Now we will see global scope. In the model of task, there is a booted method where we add global scope. So every eloquent query getting the tasks will be filtered by team ID with logged in user team ID. So that's how other users from other teams don't see your tasks. Now we get to users list. And this is a bit more interesting from the resource point of view. There's a user resource, but we override a few things here. First in the table, we have modify query using. 
we show only people from our team if we have team admin role so super admin sees all the users but team admin sees only their own team users and also we don't show their own user profile in the same table list next thing creation of the user here new user it's in the model window it's not in the form so we fill that in create and we have the user in the list how does that work it works in the pages so there's user resources pages list user page and this is where we override or add get header actions create action and we need to do that because we need to assign the role to that user and the team as well so this is how it is done with mutate form data using which is happening after we fill that form in the model window and final thing from user resource is there is no delete and there is no edit but for edit we have change password so we click change password again in the model window we fill that in submit password changed and no last pass i don't want to save that so how does that work in the table we have actions and we create the action this way change password form which happens in the model window by default and then action to update the password and notification of success again nothing really fancy a typical action of filament table final thing that i haven't shown you is policy so permissions who can access what and for that we have two files here app policies task policy so for view create and update only user and team admin can do that for tasks and user policy is for team admin and super admin so regular user doesn't even see the user's menu item they see only the dashboard and the tasks and policy is kind of a default way of filament handling the authorization without any registration separately registering that policy anywhere it would be caught automatically and this is where that user has role method comes handy so whatever you pass here string or array it would be wrapped into array anyway and check if the current role of the logged in user is within that array so i guess that's it the core boilerplate of regular roles and team admin and super admin but of course you can expand it much more so here's where i need your suggestions advice where you would maybe fix something or do something differently than i did and what typical features of sas maybe or typical web projects you would add to this boilerplate add your suggestions in the comments below and the repository will be as i said available on github the link will be in the description below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos